بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله حمد كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه إخواني في الله this is our last day of class before the Eid insha'Allah insha'Allah we will resume Yawm al on Saturday insha'Allah everybody make sure they put out their Zakat al-Fitr uh -uh. we're on a new chapter inshallah we're going to start from this chapter today and take that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes uh, possible we just finished Ism Fa'il and then we did the Sigma Mubalaga and now we just finished Ism al Maf'ul. Ism uh Fa'il -uh. is from Mabin Lil Ma'loom. Ism Maf'ul is from Mabni Lil Majhul. Let's start this lesson here. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. قال المؤلف حفظه الله تعالى الدرس الحادي عشر الدرس الحادي عشر lesson number 11 or the 11th lesson اسم الموصول اسم الموصول نعم in اسم موصول we're going to look at the meaning I don't know if I mentioned the meaning in here uh Inshallah, it'll come now. It's going to come later. But it's a mosul. It has a, a sentence that's connected to it. And I want you to re recognize that. It's a mosul has a sentence that comes after it. Now, it has to be connected to a sentence. And eventually, when we finish these mushtaqat uh, athamani, we're up to now. We, we, we covered three. Ism al-Sul is not from the Mushtaqat. It's a ism. It's not from the Mushtaqat. It's just a side lesson. This is a side lesson. This is not from the eight Mushtaqat. This is not from it. Um, but this is a side lesson. And it's connected to Barakallahu Fikum Ism Fa'al or Ism Maf'ul. No, I'm not I'm not on mute. So uh maybe you have to unmute yourself. Try to unmute yourself if you can't hear. No. Sometimes you, somebody has to unmute yourself. Okay. Tayyib, barakallahu feekum. We want to look at some of these sentences. And everything is not like we're going to learn by uh, a definition, by ta'rif. But I want you to be familiar what these things contain. So Issa Mosul is not from the Mushtaqat. This is a side lesson. And I mention it now. We mention it now after what? After Ism Fa'il or Ism of Ul. Because there's a direct connection between Ism Fa'il and Ism of Ul and this topic Ism of Ism Mosul, as we will see. So I have Ikhwani Fillah. Ism Mosul has uh, uh, phrases or statements, um, or words, I should say, words that are used that are specific. And there are words that are used that are general. Okay. The first specific ones are alladhi, alati, alladhani, alatani, alladina, alati. And even in that, there's a tough seal, there's details. Okay. Alladhi is singular and masculine. Alladhi is singular and it's masculine. Arrajul alladhi. Al-yawm, al-ladhi. Naam. al is singular, but it's feminine. It's singular and it's feminine. Naam. al what do you think al is? It's dual. Naam. But there's also al and al Naam. That comes in the Quran. Naam. Arina al adallana. Naam. Uh, so this comes Alladhani and Alladhani. Alladhani is when it's Murfu' or Alladhani is when it's Mansu. But we're not going to look at that. Our lesson is not Nahu. But the same thing, Alatani. What do you think Alatani means? It's two. It's dual feminine for two women or two feminine things. But it also comes Alatani and Alatani, depending whether it's Murfu' or Mansu' or Majroo'. 
Alladheena. Alladheena is a group. Um, a group of males. Alladheena. Inna alladheena amanu. Um, so alladheena amanu means al-aminu. Al-aminun. Naam. Al-mu'minun. Naam. Allati. What does allati mean? Allati is, is plural feminine. Plural feminine. And there are other the other ways of saying this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Walla e lam yahibn. Those who don't get their hate. Walla e. This is la ti. There's la e. Naam. Naam. It also comes in Surah Al Ahzab. Naam. Walla e. This is Allah ti. There's Alla e. Alla e. There's Alla ti. And there's also Allawati. Allawati. These are three. But we don't need that now. We don't need that now. These are specific. These are specific. You have to consider whether it's male or female. You have to consider whether it's masculine or plural. All jama. You have to consider that. Man is general. Man is general. What does that mean is general? It could be male or female. It could be singular or plural. Man. When ma is used for something that's not doesn't have intellect, no. man is for intellect, and ma is for something that doesn't have intellect. What al, this is the al for ta'rif, is also a listen mausula, as we're going to learn. If there's anything that's not clear, it's going to materialize and become clear with the sentences. But example of al like. Al Jalis means Al Yajlis. That's what that Alif Lam means. That Al Jalis Al Yajlis. That's what it means. Al Mudarris is Al Yudarris. Naam. Al Akilun Al Ladina Yakulun. Naam. Tayyib. Al Mustamiun. Um, so the Alif Lam is a Mosul like that's on the Ism Fa'al and the Ism of food. But what is Al Madrub Al Ladi Duriba? But if it's if it's a Mabni Majhul and if it's Ism if it's Ism Al Maf'ul, it's gonna be Mabni Majhul. What is Al Madrub Al Ladi Duriba? What is Al Madruba Al Lati Duribat? Al Mar'a. We don't use the example of Madruba. We want to say Al Mar'a Al Maktuba. What does that mean? Al Mar'a Al Maktuba Aleti Khutibat. And somebody proposed to her. Aleti Khutibat. You want me at the Sabor? Al Mar'a Al Maktuba Aleti Khutibat. Somebody proposed to her. Say, <laughs> Mashallah. Yeah, private jokes here. Yeah. Sayyid. Al Usra al Mubaraka. Al Usra al Mubaraka. Naam. Al Mubaraka is what? It's a maf'ud. In it is baraka. Allah, the one you barak is mubarak. That's the one that gives baraka. Mubarak is what? It's a maf'ud. We're going to read together. The blessed family. That's what this means. The blessed family. You all repeat after me. We're going to take a little bit by little bit. But we want to read and comprehend. See if we can finish the story today. Hmm. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Ya abi kaifa asbahta. What does that mean of the sabor? How was your morning? Well, how are you? What does asbaha mean? Asbaha means to enter the morning or to become something. Like asbahtu maridin. I became sick. I became that. Asbahtu. Naam. Asbahtu ghadban. I got upset. I became that. Naam. But it also means to enter the sabah. Like you say, kaifa asbahta. And then how did you enter the morning? How are you feeling this morning? And if it was after us, you say, Okay, for I'm Saita. I'm Sa. No, I'm just the night. 
Amsa means to enter the night. Kaifa asbahta. Kaifa asbahta. When it says kaifa asbahta, we understand that this is the morning time. This is the morning time. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillahi ana bi khayrin. Barakallahu fika. So listen, I'm, I'm going to be particular with the diction. These words that we say on a regular basis, don't just say it any old way. Alhamdulillahi. Alhamdulillahi ana bi khayrin. Barakallahu fika. Now try to be clear, even in these minor things. Now, Naams, Naam, Assalamu alaikum. It's with the ain. It's not salam alaikum. It's not salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. And very many people, when they need the salat, they say, Salamu alaikum rahmatullah. Salam is assalamu alaikum rahmatullah. Assalam, not salam. Assalam. All right. Kuntu fi suq ams ma'a walidati. Kuntu fi suq ams ma'a walidati. Ma'a walidati. Kuntu fi suq ams ma'a walidati. Right. It's supposed to be a kasura there. No, it's supposed to be a kasura and the fiqh. No. Barakallahu fi. No. وَرَأَيْنَا الْأُسْرَ الَّتِي انْتَقَلَتْ إِلَى حَارَتِنَا قَبْلَ سَنَةٍ لا بس little bit by little bit وَرَأَيْنَا الْأُسْرَ وَرَأَيْنَا الْأُسْرَ Take jump from letter to letter. Don't smear the letter. Don't smudge the letter. Land on top of the letter. Land on it. Stop on it. Now I'm not smudge past it. Wara aina al usra. Alati in takalat. Alati in takalat. إلى حارتنا قبل سنة إلى حارتنا قبل سنة طيب let's go back كنت في السوق أمس مع والدتي what does that mean with my mother. I was in the market yesterday with my mother. What does that mean? We saw the family which relocated, which moved. Nakala means to convey. Intakala means to relocate. Takala to change from one area to another area. No. In takala to move to relocate. Again, Waraina al Usra alati in takalat. What does that mean? And we saw the family which which moved. The family who moved. Ila haratina. What does that mean? To our neighborhood. Hara, Haratun is neighbor, has a ta. Haratun. Ila Haratina Kabala Senatin. They moved to our neighborhood a year ago. How are we doing online? How are we doing online? So you say, Ana Intakaltu, I move. Intakaltu min, I move from. Intakaltu ila, I move to. Min, I moved from. Ila, I move to. Nah, -uh. try it. If this sentence is good, we're going to move on. 
Waalaikumsalam. Hal ta'ni jiranana alladhina ja'u min Kerala? Kerala? Hayya Kerala. Assalamu alaikum. Kerala. Hadi ya rajal. Ne bado spor. هل تعني جيراننا الذين جاءوا من كيرالا؟ هل تعني جيراننا الذين جاءوا من كيرالا؟ ليس كيرالا، like we say جاءوا من كيرالا نعم جنوب الهند هل تعني جيراننا هل تعني جيراننا الذين جاءوا من كيرالا جنوب الهند okay Pay attention to that which is read. First, we have Raina al Rus al Usra al Leti. It's al Leti because the Usra is what? It's feminine. So now we have, what does this mean? Hal ta'ni jiranana. Do you mean our neighbors? But do you mean our neighbors? When you said that you saw the family, do you mean hal ta'ni? The ta is because you, you're talking to, you're talking to his son. I mean, do you mean? Hal ta'ani. You say, ana a'ani. I mean, I intend by that. Ana a'ani. Huwa ya'ani. Nahnu na'ani. We mean by that. Naam. Hal ta'ani. Are you referring to me? Do you mean? Do you intend by this? The, the family that you saw. The family. Do you mean our neighbors? Hal ta'ani jiranina alladhina ja'u min kirala. What does that mean? Right, those that came, the, the 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 our our neighbors, those that came from Kerala, Janubil Hind. What does Janubil Hind mean? Southern India. Southern India. Very good. How are we doing online? Is is a is a fata Kerala, Kerala. There's a fata and there's a ya K Kerala. 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 No, it's a fata, not key. Kerala. 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 But it's not pronounced like that. It's, a, it's not a, it's Kerala. It's a Indian name. These are Arabic letters. Okay. Uh, then I'm, so after all that, we're still probably saying it wrong. Maybe somebody might send me a letter like, it's not pronounced like that. <laughs> But may Allah make it easy. Naam, ma araf tu shaknehum. Naam, ma araf tu shaknehum. Innaha usratun kabiratun wa sharifatun. Tassar Allahu amthalahum. Naam, ma araf tu shaknehum. And after his father's asking, do you mean our neighbors, those that came from Kerala? He says, Naam. Naam, yes. Ma araf tu What does that mean? I don't know their situation. It's Maldi. Ma araf tu. No, I don't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I'm in the Their situation. Their status. And I didn't know that. That's why he's saying Usra Kabira Sharifa. Like it's a big honorable family. Like I didn't know the situation. I didn't know their status, their prestige. I didn't know the honor that they had. Um, status. I didn't know their status. Now to Shatnehum. That's what you call Shatin. Somebody's status. ما عرفت شأنهم إنها أسرة كبيرة وشريفة. What does that mean? 
family. They're a big and normal family. Now, honorable camera. What does this mean? Kathara Allahu amthalahum. Kathara. Kathara Allahu amthalahum. Increase their likes. Right. May Allah. This is a dua. May Allah increase in the likes of them. May Allah make many people like them. That's a praiseworthy thing to say about a group of people. If you want to praise the people, you say, Kathar Allah wa amthalakum. Or you say to a brother, Kathar Allah wa amthalak. What does that mean? Kathar Allah amthalak, ya akhi. Kathar Allah wa amthalak. May Allah make a lot like you. May Allah increase those that are similar to you. This is what you say to somebody if they memorize the Quran or if they went to study and they came back, you say, Kathar Allah wa amthalak. Um, Kathar Allahu Amthalik. Amthal is plural for mithl. Amthal is the plural for mithl. May Allah increase those that are just like you, that resemble you. Very good speech. Um, so you say this to your son when he does good. This you say to your wife when she does something like Kathar Allah Amthaliki. Um, may Allah make other women just like you. Um, Jayab, the father then says, هذه الأسرة معروفة بالخير. هذه الأسرة معروفة بالخير. عندهم أربعة أبناء. عندهم أربعة أبناء. أربعة أبناء وأربع بنات عندهم أربعة أبناء. make sure you say the end. don't say أربعة 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 عندهم أربعة أبناء وأربع بنات والبنات كلهن متزوجات. إس كل كل والبنات كلهن متزوجات. متزوجات. والبنات كلهن متزوجات. كله ليس كله والبنات كلهن متزوجات ولكل واحدة منهن أولاد ولكل واحدة منهن أولاد That's a tongue twister. وَلِكُلِّ وَاحِدَةٍ مِنْهُنَّ أَوْلَادٌ Let's go back to the translation. هذه الأسرة معروفة بالخير What does that mean? It's known for good. This family is known for good. عندهم أربعة أبناء Four sons. Four sons. Four sons. Four sons. And four daughters. Walbanatu kulluhunna mutazawwijatun. And the daughters, all of them are married. And the daughters, all of them are married. Walikulli wahidatin minhunna awladun. وَلِكُلِّ وَاهِدَةٍ And each one from them. And each one of them has children. وَلِي That's what the لِي is for. لِكُلِّ It belongs to her. لَامُ الْمُرْكِ وَلِكُلِّ وَاهِدَةٍ And for everyone مِنْهُنَّ From amongst them أَوْلَادٌ She has children. How are we doing online? How are we doing online? And each one of them has children, right? 
Let's move on. هل عرفت أن والدهم هو السائق؟ هو السائق الذي يسوق الحافلة الذي يسوق الحافلة يسوق الحافلة التي أركبها إلى المدرسة التي أركبها إلى المدرسة وابنه وابنه الصغير وابنه الصغير هو الذي ينتظر مائي هو الذي ينتظر مائي كل يوم في المحطة كل يوم في المحطة أجل هل عرفت أن والدهم هو السائق أجل هل عرفت أن والدهم هو السائق نعم is والدهم is والد is not والدهم you don't put emphasis on the last letter don't put emphasis on the last letter والدهم لا والدهم والدهم don't put emphasis on the last time what does this mean هل عرفت أن والدهم هو السائق السائق الذي يسوق what does سائق mean is the driver the driver الذي يسوق who drives the bus the driver which drives the bus. The driver who drives the bus. Saka yasuku means to drive. Saka yasuku. When the harf al is in the middle of the word, the ism fa is going to get a hamza. Saik. Are we doing online? A saik is the driver. A saik. Okay. Saik, if it's on siga and mubalaga, if it's siga mubalaga fa'al, what are we going to say? Siga Mubalaka Fa'al 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 What are we going to say? If it's Siga Mubalaka Asa'ik Sawak This is the word they normally use for a driver Sawak Asawak 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 is a driver Sa'ik driver. Sawak driver. Here we have a sa'ik aladi yasuk. What does that mean? The driver who drives. And this is this is important. Why is the alif lam red on a sa'ik? Why is the alif lam red on a sa'ik? Because it's isim mausula. That's what isim mausula is. That alif lam is isim mausula. It means aladi yasuk. Abdul Sabah, are you with us? Right, that Aleph lamb that comes on the Ism file and the Aleph lamb that comes on the Ism, Mos on Ism of old, it is Al Mosula. So that which comes behind it is what it means beforehand. As what does Asaik mean? Al Ladi Yasuk. Right? So what does this mean? Hal Arafta and Nawali Dahum, who was Saik Al Ladi Yasuk Al Hafila? No, I can't say it's the one. He's the he driver who drives the bus. He's the driver who drives the bus. Asaik means Aladi Yasuk. It's right there written in front of you. Asaik. What does Asaik mean? Aladi Yasuk. Nah. -uh. Asaik means Aladi Yasuk. And that's why the Aleph lamb is red. So you can recognize that that is that it's a mausula. Asaik means Aladi Yasuk. Let's read after that. Al Hafila Alati Arkabuha. Yasuk Al Hafila. No, I want the translation. 
يسوق الحافلة التي أركبها Okay, let's not get the past tense mixed up with the future tense. Okay, let's go back. Did you know that their father, he is the driver that drives the bus? Did you know that their father, he is the driver who drives the bus? The bus alati arkabuha ila madrasa. What does that mean? Al hafila alati arkabuha ila madrasa. Right. So look at this. Alati has come after a sentence. Alati yasuk al hafila. Is yasuk al hafila a complete sentence? Yes, as the file and it has the mafoon in me. Yasuk al hafil, meaning huwa yasuk al hafil, a complete sentence. Naam. Alati, look what comes after it. Arkabuha ilan madrasa. I drive it, I ride it to school. What comes after the mausula has to be a sentence. Comes after a sentence. And also has a pronoun that goes back to the thing that's before it. Al hafila alati arkabuha. It goes back to the hafila. It's not why it's not it's not wajib, but it's going to have a pronoun that goes back to the thing that's indicated. Do we understand this? Al hafila alati arkabuha. The bus which I ride to the school. وَبْنُهُ الصَّغِيرُ هُوَ الَّذِي يَنْتَذِرُ مَاءِ What does that mean? وَبْنُهُ الصَّغِيرُ And his youngest son and his small son هُوَ الَّذِي يَنْتَذِرُ مَاءِ هُوَ الَّذِي He is the one who waits with me. He is a lady. Look, he didn't say, listen to this. He didn't say, who are you to do? Who are lady you to do? He didn't say his son waits. He is the one who waits. Who are lady? He's asking, do you know the father? He's the one that does this. And that his son, he's the one that does that. We know this family. Do you know that the father, he's the one that does this? He drives the bus. And his son, he's the one that's waiting for me at the bus stop, waiting with me. Understand? How on. Wabunuhu, and did you know that the father was this? Wabunuhu and his son Asagir, the small child, who will levy? He is the one who yantaziru ma'i that he waits for me. Kulla yawman fil mahatta. What does that mean? At the station. He waits with me every day at the station. How we doing online? How we doing online? What part is not clear? Let me know. What part is not clear? Good. I want you to get familiar how to use it's a mausula. What comes after it is a sentence. That's a complete sentence. He waits with me. He waits with me. What comes after it's a mausula has to be a sentence. It completes the meaning. Uh -uh. Right. The Aleph Lam on the Islam on the Islam file is a kind of Islam Mausula, just one kind. The Aleph Lam that's on the Islam Mausula means a levy. But Al Mudarris means a levy Yudarris. Al Jalis means a levy Yajilisu. Al Mutakalam means a levy yatakalamu. Al Naim is a levy yanan. Al Akil a levy yakul. A shadab a levy yashram. A shadibuna a levina yashrabun. A shadibani a lavani yashrabani. So on and so forth. That Aleph Lamb that's on the Ismail, it represents, it represents Al Mosul.
So the mausul it could be a levy wa a leti wa ladani or it could be man or it could be ma or it could be al. It's different kinds of mausulas. Okay, we're going to continue and more examples will come. The father says, Subhanallah lam a'rif hadha. Don't say lam, it's lam. Subhanallah lam a'rif hadha. Lakinni araftu. Okay. Uh, Lakin is from the words that have an alif that you don't write. It's lacking, but you don't write the aleph. Do you know any other words that has an elongation and you don't write it? Have. When you write that ha, you write ha that. The ha, you don't write an aleph on it. Who knows another word? No, that's the same. I don't have it. Also, la ilaha. La ilaha. The word ilahun. You just write the hamza, the lamb, and the ha. You don't write the aleph. These are writing rules. These are writing rules. You don't write the aleph after these words. Lacking, hada, wadalika, wahakada. Also, la ilaha, and also the name of Allah. Allahu. So they write a little aleph on the top. But you don't write the aleph when you write the name of Allah. And it, there is an aleph that is pronounced. Understand that. So this is not lakin. It's lakin. So let's go back. Subhanallah. Lam a'rif hadha. Lakinni araftu anna banahu zakiriya. Okay, let me not take too much of that. Lakinni araftu anna banahu zakiriya. Or anna ibnahu zakiriya. هو أحد أئمة المسجد الكبير. هو أحد أئمة المسجد. أحد أئمة المسجد. أئمة. Go straight to it. Bam bam bam. Go straight to it. أحد أئمة. أحد أئمة المسجد الكبير الذي في السوق الذي في السوق وهو الذي يأم الناس هو الذي يأم الناس في صلاة الفجر Y'all are learning Arabic. Now, these are more words. These are more different kinds of sentences. So you have to review the likes of these stories. Review your stories. Review your your Jumul Mufida and Iqra' Wafam. Go back to the beginning of the book. Review those areas. Review them fluently. Okay, what does this mean? Subhanallah. Subhanallah is something that you say when you're surprised. When you're astonished. No. Lam a'rif hadha. What does that mean? Lam a'rif hadha. I didn't know this. I mean, I didn't know that his father was the bus driver. I didn't know that his son was waiting. Oh, yeah. but you, no. I didn't know that was his son. Lakin ni araftu. What does that mean? Lakin ni araftu. But I did know. But I did know. However, I did know. Anna banahu zakiriya huwa ahadu a'immati al-masjid al-kabir. That his son Zachary is one of the imams of the big masjid. Ahadu a immetil masjid al kibir. He's one of the imam. Imam, singular, a imma. A imma is what? Law. Al masjid al kibir al levi fisuk. Which is in the marketplace. So this shows that what comes after levi, it could be a jumla or shubhu jumla. Shubhu Juma, similar to Juma, is either Jar Majru, Afjar, or it could be Dharf. Dharf Bakan of Dasaban, we're going to have a whole lesson on that. It's all going to become clear. So, what does he saying? He's saying, 
I didn't know that, but I knew that his son Zachariah was one of the imams at the big masjid, which is in the market. And masjid al kabir al ladi fi suq, which is in the masjid. Wa huwa ya ummu an nas. What does that mean, ya ummu an nas? This is the verb from what word? This is the verb for imam. Al imam ya ummu. Amma ya ummu. Amma. It comes from the word imam, means to lead the salah. Ya ummu. Naam. What does it tamma mean? Ya tammu. Amma ya ummu. It tamma ya tammu. What does ya tammu mean? To follow the imam. Ya tamma means that he's, he has an imam. Ya ummu means he is the imam. It tamma or ya tammu means to have an imam and you're following him. Now, what tammu, what does it, the prophet said, taqaddamu, what tammu be? And he, make me your imam, follow me. What tammu be? Now, what does this mean? The one who leads the people fi salatil fajr. I mean, he's the imam, ya ummu. He leads the salat, ya ummu anas. He leads the people fi salatil fajr. How are we doing? Everything is clear. Everything is clear. Our lesson is in alladhi wa alati wa. That's why our class is in. Stay focused. Let's continue. Akbaratni ummi anna walidatahum. Anna walidatahum. Not walidatahum. Don't put emphasis on walidatahum. Naam. Akbaratni ummi anna walidatahum. هي إحدى المدرسات هي إحدى المدرسات التي يدرسنا البنات التي يدرسنا البنات القراءة والكتابة في محو الأمية في محو الأمية محو الأمية These are simple words. Once we explain it, it's going to be very clear, inshallah. What does this mean? أخبرتني أمي أن والدتهم My mother informed me Hold on. And the wali that to whom that their mother, right? That their mother, my mother informed me that their mother, he ihda al mudarrisat. She's one of the female teachers. Ahad is what you use for a man. Ahadu a imma. A woman, you say ihda. Ihda al mudarrisat. You don't say ahad al mudarrisat. Ihda al mudarrisat. This is luga. This is luga. You have to keep this in mind. It's feminine. Ahad is singular. Oh. Ihda is, is singular, but it's what? It's feminine. Here, Ihda al Mudarrisat alati yudarrisna al Banat. What does that mean? She's one of the teachers who, who teaches the girls. Alati, after Alati, we need a sentence or a part of a sentence. Alati yudarrisna al Banat al Kira'a wal Kitab. Reading and writing. So you say you darisna al banat. Al banat is mafulun bi. Wa al qira'a wal kitaba. That's mafulun bi thani. And then the word darasa means two mafulun bis. Darastu zaydan as sabaha. I taught zayd how to swim. Darastu zaydan as sabaha. And for darasa, it needs two mafulun bis. Ya ta'adda ila mafulun. She teaches the girls reading and writing at Mahwil Ummiya. Mama Mahu. 
What does Maha Yamho? What does Maha Yamho mean? Means to wipe away. What does Ummiya mean? Ummiya is illiteracy. Wiping away illiteracy means teaching people to read. Mahwal Ummi, to wipe away illiteracy. You call that Mahwal Ummiya. It means a, a school that teaches reading and writing. It's removing illiteracy. Ummiya is literacy. This is Mahwal Ummiya, to get rid of it, removing illiteracy. Like that's the name of the school, that's the name of the program. The name of the program is Mahwal Ummiya, removing illiteracy. We deem illiteracy as, if we have somebody that's illiterate, we kind of portray or assume for them a type of akhlaq, but it has nothing to do with akhlaq. No, has nothing to do with intelligence. Has nothing to do with poverty or not poverty. Really, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa couldn't read or write. And there are millions and millions of people who can't read and write. They run businesses. Yeah. I heard of one person that couldn't read and write. He was a bedou. He used to sell sheep, you know. So he had a lot of money. Like this time of year, Muslims, they buy sheep. And at the eat, they buy sheep. He has like 500 sheep. They're going to buy from him. And they're going to buy from him. And he sells a thousand. He has camels. Yeah. And he had a lot of land. And he went to sell land. Uh -uh. He had a lot of money. So when it came time to sell a piece of land, he looked at the contract and said, where is my name on the contract so I could put my thumbprint on it? Like he can't read it, nor can even sign it. Now, where's my name on this contract so I could put my thumbprint on it? That That's the way he signed, because he can't write either. And he's selling land for thousands and thousands of dollars. He can't read his name on the contract, nor can he sign it, but he's rich and he's intelligent. Huh? He knows he's rich. There's the brothers. They, they, they're on the same line. Right. Right. Yeah. But well, we want to talk to people of character. With that. He don't have character. Right, right. <laughs> so point being, don't, when you hear somebody's illiterate, don't assume for them anything that that's like, it just means he can't read or write. You know? And I heard of a person that had a job and he was the manager. He made it up to the manager and he couldn't read or write. So orders would come in and he would snatch out the paper. What would you do if this order came? What read that order right there? What that? And he's got tired of playing that trick with the workers. Come on, how would you run this order? How many things? Look, what do you need? Yeah, he couldn't read it. So he had to go to supervisors and be like, you know, I want to explain something to you that, you know. And they was like, what? You took money? He was like, no, I. He has them all sitting down, listening to them. I can't read. Like, playing around. You sat us down and told us you can't. He said, I can't read. I'm the manager and I've been doing this for the last year. And I'm afraid I might mess something up. No. And they took him and got his GED. And no. so there's no uh, stigma on somebody who can't read or write. It just, he hasn't gotten there. Here, we almost have like a stigma if you don't know how to use the iPhone, if you don't know some computer thing, you backwards, you know what I'm saying? May Allah make it easy. Tayyip, so we understand this one? Akbaratni ummi anna walidatahum, my mother told me that their mother, he ihda al mudarrisat, she's one of the teachers, alati which yudarrisna al banat al qira'a wal kitab, the teachers who, Look, when you say alati, you have to say yudarrisna. You have to keep that plural also. Alati yudarrisna al banat. She teaches the girls reading and writing and removing literacy. Like this is the name of a program. What's the name of the program? Mahwal Ummiya. Of the literacy program. Let's finish this up. We're not gonna be able to... Oh, we're right here near the end. Good. Let's try to finish up. You all bear with me. Do it effect with the fact that this is our last class for the week. Okay. Naam. It says Naam. I knew that. Naam. Kadarika ashaban aladani yudarisani 
الأبناء يضرب إلى نفسه وكذلك الشابان اللذان يدرسان الأبناء هما من نفس الأسرة What does this mean? نعم. وكذلك الشابان اللذان يدرسان الأبناء هما من نفس الأسرة. The two young men اللذان يدرسان الأبناء who teach the boys. Like the mother teaches the girls. Right? The mother teaches the girls. But the two young men who teach the boys huma min nafs al-usra from the same family again kadhalika ash-shabani alladhani yudarrisani al-abna when he says the boys meaning in comparison to the girls naam meaning in mahw al-ummiya at the same program what me of the support at the same program وكذلك الشابان the word شاب has a شد on it نعم they have an expression من شب على شيء شاب عليه what does that mean من شب على شيء شاب عليه من شب من شب على شيء Whoever grows up on something like he says, he's a youth. Shabba ala shay. He his whole shabab, he was doing this. Shabba ala, he became an old man on it. Shabba means he became Shaba. He became an old man on it. Whoever grew up on something becomes old on it. Man shabba ala shay. Shabba ala. That's what he's going to become old on. Naam. That's just an Arabic expression. Naam. Man shabba. And who grew up on something. Man shabba. على شيء who grew up on pun something شاب what does شاب mean what's a شاب let me say a شاب what what does شاب a شاب what does a شاب mean right here a old man شاب شاب is gray when you say how the شاب in the old man a شيخ شاب the old man tie up Let's finish this. Allah yu'ti fadlahu man yasha. Take your time. Allah yu'ti fadlahu man yasha. Hal sami'ta ma qala walidahum al-bariha? Walidahum al-bariha? هل سمعت ما قال والدهم البارحة؟ طيب what does this mean؟ الله يعطي فضله من يشاء. what does this mean؟ الله يعطي فضله. right it's not a du'a. Allah after he says that the mother does this and the sons do this. The father says, Allah gives his goodness to whoever he wills, whether they're from India, no matter where they're from. Allah, you're He gives his goodness. Man yasha. Why is man red? Because it means alladina, alladhi yasha. It means man means alladhi, whoever he wills. Man here means alladhi. You understand, Harun? Man means alladhi. That's why it's red. Allah, you're fadlahu man yasha. Yani alladhi yasha. Allah gives his goodness to whoever he pleases. What does that mean? Have you heard, have you heard of that word? Have you heard the father say last night? No, it should be It should be Where is that last night? Last night. It should be waliduhum. Okay, what does this mean? Hal sama'ta ma qala waliduhum al-bariha? Right, so this means hal sama'at alladhi qala. Ma means alladhi. But now it's not a person, it's a thing. 
So when it's a thing, you say ma. When it's a person, you can say man. When it's a thing, you say ma. Naam. So you understood that? Yeah. Had sumata alladhi qala. Had you heard what he said? You can say, Hal Samaita Aladi Kal or Hal Samaita Ma Kal. Ma doesn't mean negation here. Ma doesn't mean it's a question. Ma means Aladi, so Ma Mausula. So the Ma, it could be Nafia, negation. It could be Istifham, it could be a question. Or it could be Mausula. Also, it could be what? Mastariya. So you have to pay attention. How are we doing online? How are we doing online? This should be wadi duhum. What does this mean? Hal sema'ta ma qala wadi duhum al bariha. What does that mean? Did you hear what their father said last night? Okay, what does the son say? He says, La, wa alaykum salam, salam. La, akhbirni bima qala. What does that mean? Akhbirni bima qal. Well, what he said. Billadhi qal. Bima. And he, with what he said. Inform me. Bima. Bima bima na billadhi. With what he said. Now. A'la. A'la na anna waladahu as-saghir. أعلن أن ولده الصغير أكمل حفظ القرآن وسيبدأ يتعلم القراءات وسيبدأ يتعلم القراءات القراءات في الدورة الصيفية في الدورة الصيفية أوكي أعلن أن ولده الصغير What does أعلن mean? He announced أعلن means to announce إعلان is an announcement أعلن is to announce أعلن أعلن أن ولده الصغير. He announced that his small son. أكمل حفظ القرآن. What does أكمل mean? He completed memorizing the Quran. So the أكمل is what? Is متعدي. And كملة is what? لازم. كم. What does كملة الدرس mean? Dose is complete. Dose is over. Kamala ad dars. Al mudarras akmala ad dars. He completed the dose. Akmala is what? Mutaaddi. Kamala. What's the ism file from Kamala? Kamala. What's the ism file? Yeah. Kamilun. From Kamala. 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 Ism file. Kamilun. 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 And your teacher's name, Kamil. <laughs> yeah, my last name is the Ism file from Kamil. Is the Ism from Kamula. Kamil. And you'll notice uh in uh Al Yom Akamiltu Lakum I completed for you your religion. Um, what does this mean? Was Sayyabda U Yata Allamu al Kiraat? No, no, come on now, come on now. Don't assume. Don't assume. Let's take this one part. What say you have done? Oh, yeah, to Allah. Oh, yeah, he began. Okay, what about the scene? He announced his son finished. What's sir? He did this. What's sir? Right. So he, will he will begin. He finished the Quran and he's going to start learning different recitations. In the future. He finished. He's going to start. He's going to start studying. 
al qiraat what does qiraat means different recitation fi dawra as sayfiyah what does that mean a dawra as sayfiyah what does dawra mean a dawra is a course a course the summer courses a dawra is a course a class not like a class is like it's one thing it's a course a number of classes dawra it's a course Okay, let's finish this last sentence. Pardon me for going longer today. Masha Allah, Hadihi Bushra Lana Jamian. Masha Allah, many. This is what Allah willed. Had the Levi, a Levi Sha Allah. Masha Allah, a Levi Sha Allah. Maybe not a Levi. And this is a different opinion what it means. Hadihi Bushra Lana Jamian. What does that mean? Hadihi Bushra Lana Jamian. Right, this is good news for us, not just for his son. That's not just good news for his son. Hadi Bushra Lana Jamian. If he doesn't get our eyes, he's gonna be sitting with us, he's gonna be reading with us, he's gonna be teaching us. This is good news for all of us together. As alum as aluman fisama. أن يعين كل من أقبل على كتابه علما وعملا. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I want to read too much. أسأل من في السماء. أسأل من في السماء. أن يعين كل من أقبل. أن يعين. I should be يعين. أن يعين كل من أقبل على كتابه علما وعملا. What does this last sentence mean? أسأل من في السماء. I ask the one who's in the sky who's what was Allah. أسأل من في السماء الذي في السماء. That should be read there. I ask the one who's in the sky, an yaina, that should be a fatah. An yaina, kulla man akbal. What does that mean? Kullu man, kullu ladhi. Everyone, kullu man means everyone akbala. What does akbala mean? To advance, to embark upon something. Wa baq ala kitabihi, ilman wa amalan. What does that mean? Ask Allah to help everyone who did what? Who, who, who studies his book, who barked upon his book. Embark. The word yeah. akabala means to embark, to move forward upon something, to advance. Akbala ala kitabihi. What's kitabi? What book is that? The Quran. Right. I ask Allah to help everyone who embarks or uh, you know embarks upon you know his book with knowledge and good deeds this is where we're going to start when we come back we're going to go over this lesson again here after this it explains we're going to get into that totally later but explains exactly what it is there's no problem with going ahead in the book and looking ahead that's good no. this is our lesson for today we're going to meet up on saturday we're going to meet up on saturday inshallah Pardon me for the long lesson today. It was just our last for someone to finish this class. Tayyib, inshallah, we're going to proceed after this. We're going to meet up on Wednesday. I mean, on Saturday. We're going to meet up on Saturday. Tayyib, inshallah. At the end, you all have a good Eid, make uh, dua, and inshallah, we'll meet up afterwards, inshallah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdika shalom la ilaha illa anta astaghfirullah wa atubu. I ask who is above the sky. He aids everyone who embarks upon learning the Quran and acting quite right. Good translation. Should we say above the sky instead of in the sky? It's the same. Right. No. The Arabic means above. Fi means right. But in English, you should say above. But fi means above. Fi means Allah. Oh, we're going to stop here.
No, because I was going to see you.